Hello everyone. Today we're going to work on the final transpersonal chakra called the Stella Gateway. And this is right above your head. This is the top energy center. So we've started there at the Earth Star. We've gone to the Hara, which is that extra one there. And we've worked on the causal, the soul star. Now we're working on this highest one. Now, this is one that you cannot activate because it will not activate until humanity on the earth plane is ready. But you can prepare for it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so we are going to ground and protect and do all the usual things that I do to start us off so that we have a safe journey. Okay, so I want you to take a breath in and then just breathe out any residue, any busyness, any stresses. Another inward breath and breathing out that residue again, relaxing the body. So I'm just going to spray you with this Glastonbury Chalice Wells, which is joie de vivre. Oh, thyme chamomile, uh, walking across a herb-ridden lawn of wildflowers and cottage-ness. <laughs> okay, and you can get these from the Chalice Wells shop. Okay, all right. So I want you just to imagine two streams of light entering your heart center and rotating in opposite directions. One of them goes up and one of them goes down, connecting you to the omnipresent, but also through your body, down right through that earth star to the center of the earth. It can stop there if you wish, or it can continue on so that you are suspended, kind of like in the middle of a stream of light and it just holds you, okay. So, then we're going to protect, imagining that candle flame at the center of your being and then pushing outwards to the left and the right, glowing and growing and pushing out to the front and the back, pushing out and getting bigger and bigger and bigger upwards and downwards until it creates a sphere of your own light, of the light of the creator, the omnipresent, your God spark. Pushed out everything that does not belong to you. And we will just do the sound bowls just to elevate you a little bit. And just relax your body as you hear this. Letting it filter through your aura. So, I'm going to give you these Herkimer diamonds for you to hold, to raise your elevation still further, but also to cut out any pollutants, negative energy, environmental rubbish that's around you. Stale chi. Okay, I'm going to start just clearing your auric field right from probably about that so my hands will be off screen quite a bit of the time but hopefully you'll feel okay and don't worry if you don't feel what's happening because 
you're still listening to it and you're still thinking about the places I'm talking about. It is not essential to feel all the time. So it doesn't mean it has not worked. Okay. Just totally brushing down your body. And as I'm doing this, I'd like you to start consciously relaxing the hairs on your head. Then move down to your brow, smoothing out that furrow, relaxing the temples, and then moving down your face, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Relax, relax. Moving down your neck now into your chest and your upper back. Checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Now your shoulders, drop them and relax your arms and follow the feeling down them, relaxing them Relaxing all your joints and even your individual fingers. Checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Moving down further now. Your chest and your waist and your midriff. Front and back, relaxing it. Now down to your hips and your stomach muscles, your abdomen and your lower back, the lumbar, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. And now we work down the legs and the thighs and the glutes, relaxing the knees and the shins, calves and ankles. The soles of your feet even and your individual toes checking for tension and letting it go. Relax. Relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. I'm just going to move my, no oh, my notes. Now, I'm the crystal I wanted to use for this was Moldavite. It's not one that I particularly get on with, but that's probably why I cannot find my Moldavite. So we're gonna do a little trick today in a minute. Moldavite looks like that. Okay, it is a glassy crystal and it was created in, I think, the Czech Republic when a meteorite crashed into the earth and fused and melted all of the rocks that it landed into creating this glass. It is a difficult one to work with. Um, I actually put it in my pocket, carried it home, I was shaking so much by the time I got home and I promptly threw up. So it is one that you need to get used to. If you have some and you can't quite get used to it, give it a wash, hold it, tell, tell it what you want it to do and don't work with it for any length of time. Maybe hold it, work with it for a minute or two, put it down, come back the next day, work with it for a little bit longer and keep going like that and that goes for any crystal that you is a bit heady for you okay so we're going to do the next best thing here okay we are going to call in your monad your spirit family and this is an angelic reiki technique and i talked about it in the last one so I want you now just to repeat after me in out loud or in your mind and your heart. I am 
the soul. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. I am the monad. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. Breathe out and feel your circle family coming in now surrounding you in that positive loving energy these people that you have been with before and will be with again whether you know them or whether they are just part of the group having different experiences on different planets you're advancing your soul group when you do this and their love support and healing will carry you through Okay, so if you are right-handed, I would like you to put your left hand out. If you are left-handed, put your right hand out. And in your mind, I'd like you to ask your guides to place Moldavite energy into your hand. You may actually feel it being put in just a tiny little switch up of energy I just felt mine then and then hold that in your lap or in, probably in front of your heart is the best and you can put your hand over it like that and I want you to remember to keep your shoulders dropped your elbows loose imagine you've got a, a squash ball in between the joint this is how chi runs nicely and as you're holding that in your hand you're holding it in front of your heart, you are gaining its energy. So that is one way to do that. And I forgot you've got these Herkimer diamonds, so just pop them down next to you. Another way to do it is to use a clear quartz. And I'm going to ask my guides to activate it with Moldavite. Okay, I just felt the energy shift on that. As soon as you think and ask these things, they happen. And we're just going to sit here holding this. So you're holding your Moldavite in front of your solar plexus. Your, it probably dropped to your solar plexus. And just imagine this energy center above you. Now they say about a foot, but it can move. Uh, it might be a, a few inches above that or even a foot or two above that. It depends how expanded your aura is going to get. Okay, so like the other celestial chakras, this position varies enormously, but it is understood that this chakra of light connects you to the cosmos and multi-dimensional and holographic and interstellar timelessness okay at this particular spiritual crossroads for the earth we are getting it ready so we are going to be dusting it off and calling out to awakened humans and illuminating ourselves with radiance from the divine light of all creation. We cannot activate this at the moment, but we can get ready as a collective. So, I just want you to imagine this stellar gateway above your head. Okay. And... Asking your guides, your helpers, your soul family, your monad to just dust it off a little bit. Just imagine they've got their feather dusters. I'm going to draw in the say hey key. And push it in. 
I'm also going to draw in a chokere just to cleanse and clear it and get it ready. I'm then going to draw the master symbol, the daikumio. 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 And I'm going to draw the distance healing symbol to go down the timelines and to carry this healing on into the future, getting you ready for when the time comes. And it may be that you're not on this planet when that time comes, but I feel that these things are probably starting to happen now. 2012 was the start and I believe that that carries on till 2112 and beyond. I reckon each big earth change takes at least a hundred years. But you'll be in spirit by then and you will have gained all your lessons from this life. You'll probably be having a rest looking down, flying around with all those people who've gone before, you will be back with your soul family. You will be back with the divine light. Okay, so I'm talking about this now and I can actually feel movement happening there, but probably happening in here as well. So I'm just going to hold the energies whilst you sit there holding your Moldavite, absorbing that energy at your heart, letting it go up to your higher heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, your casual, and up, soul star, and there. But also as it does that, it goes downwards. It filters down through the, the solar plexus, the hara, the sacral, the root, and all the way down to the earth star. And some people even believe there's a lower chakra than that called an earth gateway. Okay. Holding that energy with your soul family, supporting you, believing and having faith that you are preparing yourself for whenever this happens. So let's perhaps think of an affirmation. I am getting ready. I am getting ready. I am getting ready and as you say that as I've just said that I am feeling movement happening all around my crown area because don't forget all of these chakras throughout us have nadis going around them they are all connected like the wheels the cog wheels okay you may feel changes happening through your aura as your soul family, your monad, your guides and your angels assist and activate these light energies. Breathe in love and breathe out gratitude. Breathing in love and breathing out gratitude. Wishing from your solar plexus to help with this shift that humankind needs to make with the earth changes. And this is happening. We are all becoming more environmentally conscious and doing our little bit. You may even be doing a big bit. I know the youngsters are very light conscious, environmentally conscious, 
and spiritually conscious. You've come before them, so you're preparing the way, but we prepare ourselves and we prepare the collective at the same time. Bring your mind back to this Moldavite, whether you've got it as an imaginary crystal or whether you or yourself are going to activate a piece of clear quartz. And I want you to ask your subconscious, your higher self, where in my body does this need to go? Because you're going to put it into yourself, okay? You may want to put it into your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, the upper chakras, or indeed some of the lower ones. I'm going to leave that to your intuition and trust the first answer or the first place that you feel in your body, even if it's not a chakra. Breathe out. Pick up your Herkimer diamonds again. Okay. Now, your light form has expanded. We're just going to ask your Mona just to bring it in to the level that is right for you. Bearing in mind if you're going to work, you'll need to bring it all in a little bit closer so that a million people don't walk through your aura. We're going to ask the guides, angels, your monad, your soul group for protection and to keep this healing going, even when you forget about it and move on, to assist you where it is necessary. Okay, I'm just going to take those from you. Okay, and I'm going to place my hands on your shoulders. Now, for those of you expecting total ASMR, I, I realise these have been a little different, more meditational than instructional, but I can't help it. I'm a teacher. It happens as it happens. <laughs> so just feel the weight on your shoulders. And just imagine that we're going to dry brush you now. So we're going to start to brush you. A technique that I use in Tai Chi, and I actually do this when I've gone to a meditation group or done a, a meditation on YouTube or whatever. Or just sat, brushing that energy off you, revitalizing you and elevating you breathe out let's thank our guides and helpers and we're just going to ask them to step out of your aura they won't come totally leave you <clears throat> my voice is going i've recorded about five meditations today okay so, peace above you, peace below you, and peace all around you. Now, this is the last of 12 meditations. The first seven were released earlier in the year, and these, ooh, five are coming now. Okay, one will be released every day, and over the next few weeks when I am off work, I will be editing them all and joining them together for one great big long one that, ooh, well, there's 12 of them there. It could easily last about eight hours, so you could play that as you go through the night. And it will still work. But I'm not a great fan of all of that, leaving the TV on and things. So... It's up to you. I leave that up to your discretion. You know how you can sleep. But anyway, 
love and light to you all and put your best foot forward. You are making a step closer to your elevation and ascension each time you do something spiritual. Bye-bye now.